it's a haul video. Ridiculous haul today. Uh, some of them are unboxed, some of them aren't. I've already explained in previous videos why it's quite so big. I don't think I can focus on any of the other bags until I've addressed this one. I've already unboxed this, so I'm going to show you the video now of when I did that because as soon as I got home I ripped open the packaging and had a look at it to check that it was okay mainly because it is in lambskin and I just wanted to make sure there were no scratches and that I was completely happy with it. So this is an item that I ordered in because I had seen it in beige online. I had this ordered in from Heathrow. I saw the bag in different colours. I saw it in green in Selfridges and I saw it in brown in Manchester but I really wanted wanted it in beige. Now they said beige I'm not going to get because it's an old season but they had it in black which is always going to work for me. It's so pretty. So this is what I got. This is the Chanel Trendy CC flat bag in the small size in the black lambskin leather. I hope I got all of that in there. It's quite a long name and it's also got the champagne hardware which looks really quite gold and the gold plate on the top but it looks more silvery in the little bit so I'm happy with that as well. I prefer silver this champagne's really kind of my thing at the moment. And I've really wanted something from Chanel in the lambskin. I've watched so many reviews where people bang on about how buttery the leather feels and they're so, so right. It feels amazing. Ever since I got my flap in caviar, as much as I've enjoyed the caviar, I've always kind of pined for something in the lambskin. And this bag seemed like a great option because it's kind of dressy, but it can also be very formal. So I'm going to say this is a special occasion type of bag. So very briefly going over the details of the bag, as I said, it's in the lambskin. The hardware is in the champagne. Definitely my favorite metal of the moment. On the top, it's got two handles, which we'll come back to in a moment. You've got this little flap on the front with the CC. If I come close, you can see this CC has a little extra addition on one of the arms. I don't know if you can see it very well on this top arm. It has a little circle and it says Chanel Paris in it with a little logo in the middle, with a little CC again. It's very delicately made. From the side you can see the three pouches of the bag and on the back you have the lovely little slot which I always really like. So coming on to the main feature of this bag which are the handles. So my handle looks like it goes slightly to one side. I've corrected it a bit since I've got it and then you have this second handle that sits on top. So if you wanted to carry it in the crook of your arm it fits just fine and the bottom handle takes all the tension. This top handle actually pulls up into a shoulder strap. So it's quite a short shoulder strap, it's not really a crossbody, but you've got the lovely little leather bit on the top and then the beautiful Chanel chains on the side. This is also detachable, which is just incredible. I'll show you how that works in a moment. Next, if we just come on to the inside of the bag, so if I just twist and lift, you have your nice three pouches. You have this front one, the middle one, and the back one there. I really can't see on my viewfinder because it's so bright. Um, you have your nice little lipstick pocket in the middle and your two side pockets. And in this back pocket, you then have a zip and the zip just says Chanel on it, I think. Yeah. And then on the inside of the bag, you've got your big CC. And then down here, I don't know how well it's showing up because it's too shiny on my viewfinder. It says Chanel made in Italy, I think. Yes, it does. I'm absolutely blinded by my lights at the moment. But every time I open the window, it's so bright this morning that the sun just casts shadows all over the room. So I'm having to use them. You may have also noticed that here you have your little handle attachments and they just slip through like so. Both sides. I now have a single handle bag. The detached strap itself is really lovely. And on the end, these even have Chanel written on the ends like so. And literally, just to pop it back on, There we have it. That is the Chanel Trendy CC. I'll go through more details in a review later. This is just a haul today, so I just want to show you. I think it's so pretty and I think it's a little bit different. It is still a seasonal piece. It is not a classic bag. So when it comes to holding value, this one uh, has not been purchased with the intention of holding any value whatsoever, but I really like it and I think it's so beautiful and elegant. Uh, as you saw in the video, it comes in this plain Chanel dust bag. 
So Chanel have had quite a few price increases recently and I think their prices are bordering on ridiculous for me now. So I'm really enjoying this item but I don't know how much more I'll be getting from Chanel, famous last words obviously, but at the moment we'll see how it goes. I haven't actually seen anyone in real life carrying one of these and when I went into Harrods and asked if I could try one on they looked at me like which one? Which bag is that? This is not a classic bag, this is a seasonal piece. This is not a great investment because I don't know if they're going to carry them on. I really hope they do because they're beautiful. The large is really pretty as well but I'm so nervous with the lambskin that I figured I wanted something small to see how I go. And that's pretty much all I have to say on that bag. Next, I think it's time to address this beautiful. I've not been unboxed since I bought it. It is beautiful. There is a big story to it. I will not tell you that today. Today, I will just show you the bag. This is the most glamorous unboxing you'll ever watch. This is my new baby. There's a spot on my camera. I bought this a week or so ago. So I recently went to an event with Dior from Manchester and we went to Chatsworth House in, I think it's Derbyshire, uh, and we had a look around an amazing fashion display of this. That's the short version of the story. So I'm just going to take this off. So you just get the little label inside. Ooh. You probably know what this is already. Look how cute it is. Something in that. Oh, it's adorable. So this is the dust bag. And, and I got one of these books. I've had one of these recently so I know what it is. I told the sales assistant that I'd been considering this purchase and she put one of these in with my last bag. So it's all about the making of the Lady Dior. So this is the bag, it's absolutely beautiful. This is the Lady Dior from Dior and it is, <laughs> shockingly, and it is in the pearlescent grey. I don't know how well that picks on my camera but it is slightly pearlescent. Uh, it's also got the champagne hardware and oh they put a little bow at the top. It's adorable. So if I just, I'll leave it on for now. If I take this off, that is so cute. I absolutely love the packaging from Dior. There we have it. You have the little Dior charm here. And on the back, just says Christian Dior. So beautiful. It's so soft. This is made out of the lambskin. Now initially I just wanted a matte grey with silver hardware but this is the pearlescent so it's got a very nice shine to it but it's very subtle and it's also got the champagne hardware so in some lights this looks gold and in some lights it looks silver uh, which is perfect for me because I wear both silver and gold but I tend to wear silver more. When I look at it I think it is silver. I don't think gold at all uh, and in the store I basically I told the sales assistant that I really wanted grey with silver hardware and she said oh I've got you a shiny one with gold hardware and I thought no no and then I went in and it was exactly the one I was after she knew what she was doing uh, and this is absolutely beautiful so if I just take this off reluctantly you've got your two handles and then this is the old style traditional one with the zip across the top so you've got this nice zip pull. And inside I have my crossbody strap with my little hooks. They're very different to what the hooks look like. My hand looks so mottled. They're, it's very, very different uh, to my other pieces. I think they're beautiful. It's an adjustable strap and it feels so soft. So this is the traditional Lady Dior. It's not the new soft one uh, that molds differently and has an even smaller size than this. This is the old medium. So the new medium is slightly smaller and the mini is even smaller than that. So this is the old medium that I have here. And I just think it's such a lovely size. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you inside. So I've got the tissue paper out. And I've got my little authenticity book. that is the inside 
and you've got your zip pocket there. As I've previously talked about in my deal videos, this is the canage pattern. So it's the cane pattern and it's the same pattern inside the bag as well. It's got the nice feet on the bottom. I personally think I'll wear this with the long strap on. And to use the long strap, you basically just clip on the outside of the handles. So it holds the handles up so that it sits on your side with the handles up. It's taken me a really long time to get round to buying one of these. I don't know why. I've been looking at them for absolutely years and I really love the little charm. I love the noise. I really like that and I really like the shape of the bag. I think it was maybe the handles that put me off. I don't know because I think they're quite cute and I hardly ever see people with these bags. Hardly ever. I will be the one. I really can't describe to you how nice this bag feels. It's so spongy. It's like Chanel. It's absolutely beautiful. It almost costs as much as Chanel as well, so bloody well should be. I always appreciate a bag with feet and these are quite pointy. These could be a weapon. This yet again is champagne hardware. I like the champagne. It suits me. So I'd seen this bag in Harrods in London and thought, wow, it's so beautiful. I really, really want one. And when I went to the Manchester store, they didn't have the colour in and they ordered it in especially. But I thought it was just flat grey. Now, with the lights and things, I think on my monitor, it's actually coming up as really quite shiny. But when you see it, it's quite matte, but slightly pearlescent. It's, it's just beautiful. I really love this bag. Uh, I think the strap is so nice as well. It's so soft. Uh, I can imagine this would be incredibly comfortable to wear. And, oh, it's got, even got little CDs on the side of the, the locks. I'll show you this all in, in a lot more detail when I do a review in the future. The thing I'm most nervous about is the, this is how you get in and out. Because as you can see, this little zip here with the little tag, which matches the boxes. That's so cute. It matches the Christian Dior boxes with the little mirror on top. This is quite a narrow entrance in and out of the back. And I have little fat hands. So I'll let you know if that is practical. But as I sometimes say, I actually quite like fiddly bags now because I enjoy them. I enjoy making a fuss of them. It's sad but true. Uh, so I'll let you know how I get on with that. The newer style actually have a flap instead of the zip, which is quite nice, but I like the zip. And this is the bag I've been thinking about for years. So I want the exact bag I've been thinking about regardless of if that's not practical because none of these are logical purchases at all. Nobody sensible would purchase these, let's be fair. If we're going to get logical, this is probably not the right video to be doing that on or any of my videos, quite frankly, they're all ridiculous. We do know this. I have complete insight, therefore it's fine. It's when you think that this is normal or sensible or value for money, it really isn't, I know that. But for me, the happiness factor, it really is. So each to their own. My next purchase came in this bag. It came in the usual box, which is a nice magnetic piece. I've still got my ribbons and everything inside. This is the first piece I've ever had that came still partially wrapped in tissue with sellotape around it, like you see fake bags on eBay. <laughs> but I got it from the store, so I know it's real. And I went in carrying my Diorama handbag and the sales assistant was like, that's a beautiful handbag. And I kind of thought, yeah, I'll just stick with that. But then I've been looking at this bag for so long. I saw it when it first came out and I went into the store because I love the colour and I tried it on and I just thought it's really nice but they're really close to some other bags and I'm not sure how much more I would gain from it but I love the colour and I kept going in and I kept trying it on to the point of a bit crazy and then I looked online one day when I was going through the different sizes and they'd taken this colour off so I went and bought it out of panic. Here it is. This is the Gucci Marmont Small flat bag in porcelain rose, which I just think is so beautiful. The colour is so beautiful, it completely drew me in. People compare them to the Chanel flap, obviously, because it's a flat bag. Everyone is going to compare everything to the Chanel flap because it's the epitome flat bag. Although I do quite like my Diorama, to be fair. But this is such a nice slouchy version. It's also got Matelassi, I don't know how you say it properly in the name, uh, which just refers to the leather which is stitched so that it looks like it's padded or quilted. Uh, so this is lambskin leather in the porcelain rose colour and it's stitched in this lovely pattern on the front and then we'll just try and ignore the fact that it has this heart on the back. I'm not going to lie, I don't really like that. It's not my favourite feature of this bag, uh, but I like everything else. To be fair, this put me off for quite a while. I think I almost bought it the first time I went in and then I saw the heart and thought, it's not me. <laughs> it's a little bit 
trendy for me. Um, but do you know what? The front's beautiful, the bag's beautiful, the quality's lovely. So I went for it. The price is also very lovely compared to many other bags. So I also love this kind of, I don't know what you call it really, but the hardware is just this lovely, lovely colour. Uh, and it feels very nice and I really like the lock on it so if I tilt it back and just press it's kind of a little press mechanism under here that releases it and then inside I just pull my strip out inside you have this lining so this is actually microfiber it feels like suede but it is microfiber and you have this zip pocket across the top which still has bits in it. So I still have my information card. I don't really know the purpose. Gucci responsibility card. Hmm. And I also have a square of fabric. Uh, I know they often put these in so you can test products without putting them on the bag. So maybe this is so I can test a sealant on it. Um, but yeah, got my little square of porcelain rose there. Bit unusual, never had that in a bag before. Maybe that's a Gucci thing, I don't know. It's literally just this big open space here and this pocket at the back. And inside it just says Gucci made in Italy. So Italian designers on the whole, I think Prada and Gucci tend to have much better prices. Absolutely love the handle as well, which is non-adjustable, but has this leather part to the chain. So you can carry it as a shoulder bag like so. Or for me, I like it as a crossbody bag. Uh, I'm quite short, I'm five foot three, and this is a great crossbody length for me. Uh, but I can also carry it as a long shoulder strap as well. I just think it's a really versatile, beautiful piece. But the colour for me is what completely sold me on it. And I do quite like this lock. I'm not sure how practical it will be on a daily basis, but I'm quite strange in that I've got to the point where I like fiddly bags. I just enjoy them. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit odd, but I enjoy taking time over getting things in and out of my bag and looking at it. Strangely, as I said, the things that really put me off at the start were this heart on the back. Really not me. It's such a shame, I think, that they put that on there. The camera bags have a beautiful um, GG pattern on the back, and if they put that on this, it would have been perfect. I don't know why or who decided to do that, um, but I'm not keen on that. And the other thing that put me off was as you can see it's a little bit gappy at the sides here and I just thought from a looking from a looking smart point of view I didn't like the gappiness it is it's just not something I'd really expect on a luxury purchase but it's fine it is nice I do quite like the lock I do appreciate that you almost have to squish the bag when it's got nothing in it anyway you feel like you have to squish the bag to press the lock in once there's stuff inside the bag I imagine pressing that lock in will be absolutely fine you see what I mean you just need to press it in like so but if there's stuff in the bag I imagine that will be okay um it's really soft around the edges so I do hope it is okay because otherwise it will root really quickly that's the big thing I think when you compare this to some of the more expensive bags the more expensive bags are very structured and there will be rigidity in the walls whereas this does not have the rigidity there you can squish it in which is fine that's what you're paying for with the lower price uh, but it's it's lovely I think it's so beautiful I think the color is gorgeous I really like the revival of the old GG pattern. I think that's a really nice feature of the bags. It is a little bit in your face, which is why I don't think I'll be collecting loads of pieces with the GG on, but just the odd one would be nice. They've had a really good supply of these in the Manchester store in this colour, and I just kept going in and trying it on, and I just needed to make sure I got it. So this one as well, this is the small. They do do a mini, which is smaller than this, and they do do a larger one as well. But I'm really happy with this size. It's just right for me, just to nip out shopping, just do errands, and I just love this colour. So this is the porcelain rose. Coming on to the final bag of my haul today. This is from Louis Vuitton and I bought this with my mother. My next bag is from Louis Vuitton and it is this. It has already been well used and is therefore already dressed with a bandeau on it around the handle. And this is the Crescent in the Demi Azure. So if I just spin it round for you, that's the back, that's the side, that's the other side, and that is the front. It comes with this tassel. This was not my choice to attach. I don't know how I feel about the tassel, to be honest. It's probably not my favourite feature of the bag. I would prefer a fluffy ball because I'm really, really elegant like that. It has the lovely S-lock on the front, so if I just pop that open, 
only one side moves and inside it is rose ballerine. So if I just pull this out, this is the cross body strap. Just relock it. So this is a really quite substantial Vachetta leather strap and it's got the lovely little hooks on either end. And if I just clip that on, I'll clip it behind the tassel so the tassel's at the front. That is the beautiful bag. I really like this bag. It reminds me of the Pochette Matisse, but slightly different, slightly smaller, and without the multiple pockets. Inside, as I was just showing you, it's purely the rose ballerine and has this back pocket here. Uh, it's not a zip pocket at all. There's literally nothing else inside there, just this one back pocket. But it's a beautiful little bag. It's a very similar size to the Alma BB, but I think it's much more functional and it can store a lot more because it's wider at the top. I also really like the Demi Air Azure print at the moment. I've really enjoyed my Neverfull and I really wanted another piece in that. And this is just a very subtle but beautiful and pretty little bag. So I really love it. I like it with this strap, with this bandeau on the top as well. So this is the trunk bandeau. It's in pink and grey and it's so lovely. But yeah, this is my new Louis. So that is it for my whole video today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, any comments, questions, please put it down in the comments below. I will come back and review all these bags at a later date when I've had more wear out of them and I can tell you a little bit more about them. I really need a cheaper hobby, something else to be interested in. You've probably noticed that the camera seems to zoom in and out at random moments. That's because every video I do takes multiple takes to just say very simple things. And that's because we've got building work next door. Mark's now decided to jump in the shower which is in the next room and uh, I'm cooking stuff while I'm doing this because we're going carb free.